Man, oh man, do I have an interesting topic today. Okay, it's one of those toughies. All right, so let's get right into it. Today I want to deal with the topic entitled, Be Patient. Oh Lord, please help us. Okay, let's get into this one and let's be honest. Right, let's go. Paul's writing to Timothy and he's trying to show him how to act as a godly person. 2 Timothy 2, 24, he says this, And the servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle, able to teach, patient. Now, I want to deal with that patient part. Now, why does God ask us to be patient? What do we need to be patient about? All right. It's actually very easy. God is calling us to be patient around those that he's working on. Listen carefully. God is busy working on people. And he's taking time to work it through with them. And so I want you to understand this. This is very important. God does not work at your pace. How many times have you got to somebody and you go, but you know better. You should be practicing this. How many times have you felt that the person's not actually, um, they shouldn't be getting grace? Because you feel like, listen, you should be mature enough to handle this thing properly. And the truth of the matter is this. God is patient with us. And remember this, you've got to get this from the onset. God is building his church. God is building his church. He did not tell you to build his church. He's going to deal with each person individually. He's going to deal with that person at the time and the pace that they are working at. You don't know what God is doing in their lives. There have been many times when people have come and presumed what's going on in our lives. And they've missed it by a mile. I know like I know that that's not what happened in my life. That's not what God was busy with. That's not what God's dealing with. And yet somebody had the audacity to come and tell me what God was doing. You see, we've asked God for patience in our lives. Please be patient with me, God. Please help me get there. I'm trying. I'm working on this thing, whatever it is. But God's saying to us, we need to be patient with each other. We need to be patient with those around us that are not catching it as fast as you do. And you must understand that sometimes this can come across as a bit of a frustration. Because sometimes it's a roller coaster. Sometimes you'll teach somebody something. It might be your child, whoever it is. And then it almost looks like they reject everything that you've said. Remember this. The word of God is a seed. It's going to grow. God promises us, if you raise a child up in the way of the Lord, he's not going to depart from it. He's going to maybe take a holiday, come back and go back on track to what God has. That's a promise that you've got as a parent. And so I want to encourage us this morning. As we come around the table and say, Lord, help us to have patience with everybody around us. Help us to be gentle. Knowing that you are doing the work. You know, sometimes we can get impatient and want people to grow faster than what they are growing. It's not your job. It's God's job. Our job is to be faithful to what he called us to be. And to love those around us. Encourage those around us. And so this morning as we come around the table... Let us ask God for a supernatural patience this morning. That we will see people as he sees them. On the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. 
And so this morning, let's trust God for the supernatural. Let's believe God that God is going to move by His Spirit in such a way that we are going to walk away blessed in Jesus' name. Father, I ask you right now to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong motive or intention. But Lord, I pray right now that you're going to help us to have the patience that's needed. Lord, that we will understand that you are building your church. Father, I pray right now that we will be patient. We will be gentle. And we will love those around us in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now that you're going to bring us to the place of destiny and purpose. And Lord, that we will do what we are called to do. But we will allow you to do what you are doing in Jesus' name. Father, I pray your blessing and anointing upon each and every believer. Thank you, Lord, that you are in control. Thank you, Lord, that you are bringing us to where we need to go. And Lord, I pray right now that as we take of the elements, that you'll minister to each one of us right now. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for what you are doing. We thank you, Lord, that you are going to move by your Spirit in our lives. And Lord, I thank you for the dunamis power of God, the power of God to flow through our physical bodies. I command every single symptom of sickness to go. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, it's Friday. I trust that you're ready for a wonderful weekend. And remember tonight, I'm going to be teaching on kings and priests. So get ready for that. It's going to be a wonderful session as well. But I want to leave you with this. Okay, we want to pray over this today. Today, it's the 25th of the month. I want to pray over our tithing. I know that there are a lot of Christians right now who are giving their tithes faithfully. But my concern is, are you giving it in faith? Are you actually trusting God? All right. Are you trusting God to see the protection over your finance, the blessing over your finance in Jesus name? And so today I want to pray. We're going to pray over the businesses and other things. But right now I want to pray particularly over your finance. Remember this. If you tithe, God promises to rebuke the devourer on your behalf. Where does the tithe go? It goes to your local church. Where are you being fed? Where is the place that you are spiritually being fed? That's where you tithe. Nowhere else. You don't give to the poor. You don't use your tithe for anything else. You go to where you are spiritually fed. That's the biblical principle. So right now we're going to pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I come before you. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our lives. And Lord, I pray that as we come into this tithing week, Father, I thank you that we are going to give our tithe back to you. Lord, I thank you that as we give it, we give it in faith. We give it according to your word. Father, I thank you right now that we trust you, that our finances are blessed. Our finances are protected. Lord, that you rebuke the devourer on our behalf. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing in Jesus' name. Thank you for the power of God that flows in our lives because we tithe. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you are going to do something supernatural in each one of our lives. And Lord, that we, our finance is one of abundance in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you that we can stand in faith as we give this week in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for our businesses. Thank you, Lord, that our businesses are prosperous because we are praying. We are building altars and we are believing you. Thank you, Lord, for supernatural deals, divine connections, supernatural contracts. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray. That as we build these altars, Lord, that we will push back everything that the devil has tried. 
that our businesses are not dependent on the economy, but Lord, they are dependent on our faith. And we release the word of God over our businesses. Father, right now, I thank you that you'll be with those who are writing exams. Help them remember everything that they've learned. Bring back to their remembrance the studies that they have done. Father, I pray your blessing over every student that is writing over this time in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, I pray over South Africa's economy. Thank you, Lord, that our economy is blessed and prosperous. And Lord, that we will see the blessing and the power of God over our businesses in Jesus' name and over our economy. Thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray right now for the weekend. Thank you, Lord, that we will be able to rest and have fun with friends and family. Father, I pray for a regeneration and, a, and a, just an energizing, Lord, of each and every one, that we'll be ready for this month that's coming. Father, I pray your blessing over each believer in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Thank you, Lord, that you are going to bless Israel. And Lord, that Israel will sort this war out quickly in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I've got two things to announce. Please, today and Monday, I'm going to be releasing a video on political uh, update so that you have the info of what's going on in the political arena and also on what's going on with Touching Hearts, all right, the Inner Healing uh, course. Please go and have a look at these videos today and Monday I'll be releasing them. So please watch them so that you have an idea of what's going on. All right, I want to ask you, please, when you get it, please share it to as many friends and family as possible. I believe that God is busy preparing the church for something. We're going into a preparation time. So get ready for it. It's going to be fun. God's got some big stuff in store for South Africa. All right. So from my side, I want to say have an awesome weekend. Amen. All right. Let's get to our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, go out with might, go out with valor, and do what Jesus Christ has called you to do. I love you a lot.